This week we are featuring Paddle Wheel Park, as you can see behind me here, a historic landmark in Vernon. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler, and I wanted to introduce you to the history of this now super popular park in Okanagan Landing. During the early 1900s, Paddlewheel Park gained prominence as it was a bustling steamship port on the shores of Okanagan Lake, as you can see here, facilitating those vital connections among the communities in the Okanagan Valley. It's really what gave Vernon its start. The advent of steamship services, it marked a significant milestone in regional transportation and leisure as well. These majestic paddle wheel steamships, they're some of my favorites, I love looking at these, plied the waters of Okanagan Lake and they became these iconic symbols of progress and adventure down the lake. Paddle wheel park itself thrived as a vibrant hub of activity where passengers embarked on these short term but transformative journeys down the lake. The steamships, they were renowned for their elegance and their charm. They're super fancy. They transported people and goods and mail, things like that, produce between Vernon and the other lakeside communities like Fintry and Kelowna and Penticton and that then bolstered the economic growth and connectivity in the region because there's no other way to get from place to place. Passengers on these steamships, they had remarkable experiences as they cruised Okanagan Lake. Like it must have been an unreal experience. Paddle Wheel Park itself, it served as a gathering place for social events, picnic and recreational activities, same as it does today, and drew the locals and visitors alike down to Okanagan Landing. However, sadly, with the passage of time and the advancements in transportation, the prominence of the steamship travel gradually waned as they built Highway 97 between Vernon and Penticton and beyond by the mid 20th century, the final steamships bid farewell to Okanagan Lake, bringing an end to an era that had shaped the region's history and really gave Vernon its start. As you can see, it's now a park, a beach, a museum, a boat launch, a kids play park, which is incidentally in the shape of a steamship. I love that. Tennis, pickleball courts, and you can also rent the historic hall for your wedding or your other event. And that's our interesting story for today, our landmark for today. I mean, I think it's interesting anyways. I hope you do too. Any questions about Paddlewheel Park, Vernon, or real estate in general, give me a call, text, or email, and just add salt. Otherwise, see you next week.